Hey guys, today I'm gonna show you guys how to, I'm in the bathroom so it might be echoing or whatever, but I'm gonna show you guys how I do, or how I clean my brushes. So I'm gonna start with the big brushes and then work on way down to the little brushes. And these are the little brushes that I'm going to do. And then I'm gonna also clean my beauty sponge. So it's kind of like a beauty blender, but I'm gonna clean this um, as well, just show you guys how to do it. So let's go ahead and get started. So what you're gonna need is this, um, it's like a little bowl. Just to start off with this cute little bowl, just any kind of bowl that you can use. Just go ahead and start off with a little bowl. You're also going to need a, I found this, it's kind of like a silicone, um, like a pot holder. So if you find this with grooves in it, it really helps to deep cleanse your brushes. So I'm gonna put that down in the sink there. And then you're also going to need some olive oil. It helps to deep cleanse your brushes. And some Dawn or some regular dishwashing liquid. And that's what I use to clean my brushes. So we're first going to start off with um, our little cup here. And then we're going to go ahead and pour in our olive oil. So just a little bit, not too much. And then we're gonna use some hot water, like some warm water, not hot. What I do is just take the first brush here. So this is like a tapered brush. This is actually from e.l.f. So I'm just gonna take it and run it through the and you'll see that the water will get dirty, which is what you want. So let me zoom in so you guys can see the difference. You'll see that it gets dirty. And that's what you want it to do. You want it to, you know, release those, all the particles and all the dirt and grit. You want it all to come out of your brushes. Because this is what causes, like, um, this is what causes, like, your face to get the zits and the pimples and everything so once you deep clean your brushes this is really helps you to you know get rid of this what I use this brush mainly for is for bronzer and highlight what you want to do is just take your brush and rub it across the um, the pot holder and this helps deep cleanse to get all the extra grit out so I'll zoom in so you guys can see And you just want all that extra stuff to come out. Move it to different spots on the pot holder. Let's you know that all of the grit is coming out. So that's good. The olive oil also helps your brushes to stay moisturized and also helps them to stay to stay soft. So that too. So if you just want to um, continue the process and just repeat what you just did. So again, just take the brush, dip it in the olive oil and water. Make sure it's coated. This brush, I use it as my blush brush. So as you can see, all the extra blush stuff is getting off. You just wanna keep completing the process and go in circular motions. base of your brush also gets dirty because um, your hands are touching it while you're playing in makeup so you want to take some olive oil and water and then you just want to scrub the this part of the brush and that helps it to stay clean as well my foundation brush so this brush is extra dirty as you guys can tell And just get all the extra stuff out. Now this brush is shedding, it's from Coastal Scents. It's one of their flat top kabuki brushes. So this lets me know I need to order another brush because it's getting really old. 
and it should not be shedding like this, which is really annoying, but it is shedding. So I've had it for about a year and I love it. So I'm just gonna order about two more. So it is shedding and this is of course my foundation. But just make sure all this stuff gets out and you just use your hand. So I'm taking these smaller brushes and cleaning these as well by dipping them in the olive oil and warm water. So since they're small, I'm just gonna do a couple of them at a time. And these are mostly my face brushes, like my eyeshadows and stuff. So you'll see different mix of colors in it and like the eyeliner and stuff. So you wanna make sure that these are able to be moisturized so that they don't get hard and things like that. And then you wanna take your beauty blender and do the same thing. Dip it into the water with the olive oil and let it coat. And then just wring it out. You can let this one sit off to the side if you want to while it coats with all the extra in it. And then I have my hot water here. And my hot water, we're going to go ahead and add the Dawn liquid. So we're taking our Dawn and adding the soap powder. And this will actually help to clean your brushes. So we're gonna take this one, as you can tell, it's really dirty, and even the base of the brush, and just dip it in there. And you'll see how much it's letting all this stuff come out. This will make your brushes back to the white and pink that it normally came in, is like when you bought it. And then you just want to go ahead and run your fingers through them. You'll see everything but the base is clean. So you want to kind of like move your hands through the brush to get that base cleaned out as well. dip the other side in and clean that part as well. As far as the beauty blender or the beauty sponge, you just dip it in the water and then you just try to get all the extra stuff out. You wanna make sure it is submerged in it. And there is your clean version of the beauty sponge. So as far as like the little brush, this is a blending brush that I use on my eyes while doing my eye makeup. You just do the same thing with this one. Just let it soak in the Dawn for a little bit and you just squeeze it out with your hands. Don't forget guys, do the base of the brush as well because your hands do have bacteria on them that you don't want to have in your eyes. So once they're done being cleaned, you want to take a, I take a cutting board, and this is by Cutco, but you can use any cutting board that you may have. Use a hair clip, or I'm sorry, a hair tie, or like a headband, if you don't have any rubber bands. Just sit your base down and then just begin to Make sure that your brush is in the position where you want it to go, like this. And then you just take it and just put it on there like so. As well as the little brushes, you wanna have them on the little side. And then your beauty, your <laughs> Your beauty blender, you wanna have it in the groove. That's how I actually dry my brushes. And then I actually keep my brushes upright, upside down. And I keep my brushes upside down like so. And just let them dry. So, I keep so that's all I have for my video today. Please thumbs up and comment down below. Let me know what you guys would like to see in the future videos. Um, thanks so much for watching, guys. Um, how about you later? Bye.